everyone, this is Sriyam Balaji. In this video, I'll walk you through Agent Evaluation in Coupon Studio. This is a brief look at my socials, my LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, and my website. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. Uh, if you like to subscribe, hit the bell icon. What is Agent Evaluation in Coupon Studio? Uh, Agent Evaluation allows you to uh, do automated testing directly in Coupon Studio. Uh, if you're aware, uh, currently uh, Copilot Studio doesn't have uh, the automated testing feature. Uh, if you wanted to do uh, automated testing, you have to use uh, the Copilot Studio uh, kit by the PowerCAD team. Uh, this is not needed uh, as of now because this feature is uh, you know, directly available in Copilot Studio. Uh, this feature uh, gives makers uh, to create uh, test cases, uh, which are a part of the test sets. Uh, choose a test method, uh, they want to do the test, uh, define success measures, and then run the test. So how do you create a test set? So in Copel Studio, you can uh, create a test set in uh, multiple ways. You can actually uh, import a file, uh, a CSV file, creating all the uh, test cases. Uh, you can also uh, generate the uh, uh, test cases using uh, AI. Uh, you can ask uh, the uh, uh, test set to actually use your uh, test chat conversation to create the uh, test set, or you can actually uh, manually add your test case. When creating test sets, uh, you can choose from three kinds of test methods. The first one is the text match test methods. Uh, here you compare the text of each agent response to the expected response. Uh, if it actually matches, it will be a pass, or if it doesn't match, it will be a fail. Uh, there are two uh, methods here. One is the uh, exact match uh, and the other is the partial match. For exact match, uh, we actually uh, look for the agent answer should be matched uh, the expected response completely uh, word by word. Uh, for example, it may be uh, when you're looking for a precise answers like uh, a specific code or a number uh, as such, uh, you can use this exact match. The other one is the partial match, where you look for uh, you know, partial matching words and phrases. The second test method is the similarity test method, uh, where uh, you measure how close the text of an agent answer is to the expected response. And it uh, scores uh, based on uh, this. So you can have a passing score. Here it's 50 uh, out of 100. So whenever uh, it matches, uh, uh, the score which is more than 50 then uh, you know it will give a pass or it will be a fail. Quality test method tests according to a selected criteria and then it shows the results as a score. There are two types of it. One is a general quality. Uh, here the responses might meet uh, the quality standards such as uh, relevance and completeness. Uh, the second one is the compare meaning where uh, it checks for the meaning but not the exact uh, uh, words there. Let's go ahead with, uh, with a quick demo. Uh, this is my uh, test set, and these are the test questions. Um, yeah, and the test method and what's expected response. I'll go ahead and evaluate. Uh, it's going to take a few seconds. So there you go. So here you have this uh, test set. Uh, this is the run. Um, uh, this is running. Uh, it'll take a few seconds, so uh, let's come back once it's done. So we're back. Uh, the test run is completed, and here are the test results. Let me click here. So this is the test run uh, results. So all the tests have passed, and the score is 100%. Yeah, this is a safe travels agent uh, based on one of the agent templates. Uh, this agent uh, provides answers to common travel questions. Um, Okay, let's go uh, to the uh, test set. How can we create a test set? Uh, we go to analytics tab. Let's just scroll down here um, and we'll say new test set. Um, let's click on that. So what we'll do here uh, is we will go ahead and generate uh, 10 questions. Uh, these questions are created using the AI. So this is based on the agent description, uh, the instruction and its capabilities. Let's click on that. So uh, this will actually create 10 uh, questions for us, uh, as well as uh, it will also choose the test method. I want to show you how to add a case manually. I click on this, add a case manually. 
enter the question. What's the airport code for Seattle, Washington? Um, I'll go to text match. I'll say exact match and I'll type as the uh, SEA and apply. Here's the result of a test run. So you can see this test has failed. The reason being, uh, we said it, uh, the test method is exact match, uh, uh, but the thing is, the agent response was not uh, SCA. The expected response is SCA, but the agent response was different. So since it's not a, a exact match, uh, it failed because it doesn't match the expected response. Now I'll show you how to do a partial uh, text match. I'll choose this one and expected response will be the same. So uh, this will just do a, a you know, partial match for a matching word. Um, we can also do uh, a compare meaning, right? So uh, I'll say uh, the airport code is SCA. So, so here, what it does is it'll actually look for the meaning uh, and compare the meaning. And if it's the same meaning as what's the expected response, then the test will pass. I'll not uh, evaluate for now uh, because it's going to take some time. So I'll, I'll leave it to that. Let me walk you through a couple more uh, ways to test. Uh, you can use your test chat conversation. As you can see, uh, it has pulled uh, the questions uh, from one of my past uh, chat history. Um, I can click uh, save and then uh, evaluate. Uh, this will actually uh, run the uh, test cases for this test set. So I'm not evaluate now. Last thing I want to show you is how to uh, create a test set uh, using uh, a CSV file. So let me just drag and drop that. So, and it uploaded uh, the file successfully. Now you can save and here you have a test set created from a CSV file. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.